Hey guys, welcome back. This is Joe's Architect, and today we are going to be jumping into some uh, creative items. So, I hope you guys are ready. So today, we're going to be doing the unthinkable. That's right. We're going to dive into some creative items. I know, I know, I've said it thus far that I really, really don't want to touch the Tome of Knowledge, but I think we've come to the point where the Tome of Knowledge is going to be very, very necessary. That is, if you don't care to go all the way through Industrial Craft 2, like I don't right now. So, um, to get the RTG fuel, the easiest way to get RTG fuel is to just literally buy the Tome of Knowledge. Um, yeah. So, to get to the top tier energy collector MK3, you need pellets of RTG fuel. And as you can see, they do have an EMC value, which means... That, I mean, I guess if we have the tome, we could literally just pull out the, the MK3. It really doesn't matter, but this is the easiest way to get it. Um, so today we will be activating the Tome of Knowledge. But first, we're going to have to buy it. We're going to have to whip out our wallet of almost $100,000 here and literally just see what all we can buy with our money, I guess. I mean, we have access to everything. 20k? Pfft. Done. Tome of knowledge. Pfft. Not an issue. The creative energy storage? Or energy source? Pfft. Nothing. Like, pfft. we got that. W what? You want a creative fl uh, flex capacitor? You want infinite, you know, power? Pfft. We got that too. I mean, we've already gathered the mana. We've already gathered this. We want a sponge that will fix any type of nasty flux stuff we got you covered there um a creative magnet i mean i don't know if i really want that but that is an option i mean and a creative watering can who wouldn't want that but i don't really want a, a flexo magnet in creative that that sounds just ridiculous and i don't want that this is just good enough itself being resident so yeah we we spent all of that <laughs> I have no idea why. It's just, yeah, okay. Well, anyways, let's start using this stuff. So, now that we have all of this, I did have to hurry up and figure out a, somewhere to place this thing. Because this says, can source or sink. Yeah, a lot of RF. And if I hold it, it for some reason wants to just pull all the power <laughs> out of my network. And I don't want that. Um, we want to put power in. So that's where we have this creative energy source. Now, when I place this down, it is permanent. At least in this update. The next update, which I'm not currently on the latest update, but on the latest update, it's fixed now. You're actually able to place it. So what I want to do is actually just place it right underneath the rainbow gen. And that should pull out. And we're about to see the actual change in RF and see if this is actually putting in any more. So, this is doing 1.7 billion RF per tick. Now, yeah, um, yes, <laughs> that's all I can say. Oh man, and I don't know if adding more points to the sides help it at all. It may or may not. Um, we cancel that off. It looks like it doesn't matter. Like, it's once it's there, it's there. Oh, yeah. Once we added this, I can't actually uh, put it on the side. There we go. Now it can go up. Oh, yeah. It's per side. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, yeah. Um, plugs. Let's, let's just get all the plugs on this. I would do one on the bottom. That'd be the best option, but... We're not going to do it on the bottom. I also need to remember to uncheck that and uncheck that. Same on this side. Input. Uncheck that. Now let's see the mass amount of power that we're generating. 8 billion RF. 8.4 billion RF per tick. This thing is ridiculous. We are at, what, uh, 41 trillion RF at this point? Look at those numbers climb, and this thing is not even at 1%, and we're setting at 43 trillion RF. Yeah. Um, 
Anybody say overpowered? <laughs> Literally overpowered, like power. You guys, well, you guys get the joke. <laughs> but anyways, so we have that. We have the flux sponge. So if uh, if need be, we can remove all this flux. Uh, if there was any bad thumbcraft stuff nearby, we we just cleared off all the nastiness. I, I see that there was a, a large amount of flux that was stored here for some odd reason. I wonder how that got there. Um, and getting to the other creative items, well, we have the Tome of Knowledge. And uh, we just need to drop this in here, right? And then we will thus learn everything that's EMCable in this pack. Theoretically, in this pack, having access to almost everything. Minus actual edition stuff, which honestly is a little later game or a little earlier game than any of the stuff that we are currently at. Like you don't have to touch actual editions at all in this pack. Um, there's actually very few things that I normally use actual editions for, but it was awesome when it came out. But it's sort of kind of I've used it so much that it's just kind of faded away. But it is an awesome mod. It's just that in this pack, it's not. There's not really anything. It's EMCable from it, so. It's kind of not worth having, but let's go ahead and place this thing and learn the items. And there we go. So, in this case, we have officially unlocked each one of the energy collectors. We have access to everything, including gym sets. Yeah. Full gym armor, I do believe... Minus the boots, I think everything in here, no. Even the maxed out gym boots are fully press X to toggle step assessed. We have access to everything. All the gym boots, I mean, uh, I don't see the gym boots. Oh, the gym boots aren't EMCable. Wow. That's mainly because they're the Swift Wolf uh, Wind, uh, Rending Gales are not actually EMCable. I mean, but that would give us a full gym armor set. But what other armor set are we missing? We're missing the quantum suit. The quantum suit does not use EMC. But the quantum suit is a pain to make. We also have not made the wyvern set. Uh, which, the wyvern set's not that great. Going up, of course, is, is where it's at. Um, but we've officially unlocked pretty much everything that could allow us to gather even more EMC. So we can take these energy collectors. All of those. Uh, what's on our list, by the way? We have a list over here of magic items, and these are actually on them. Just to go ahead and get these quests completed. Then a red matter furnace, a body stone. I don't know what the body stone does, but apparently we can have it. Body stone, red matter furnace. Most of this stuff, I mean, a Kleinstar Omega. Um, and an Energy Condenser MK2. All of these things have now been unlocked with Project Red. How cool is that? So everything Project Red related is completely done. Um, and Project Red is, a, you know, the biggest part, I would say, of this pack. It is definitely the biggest, biggest part. Um, now, when it comes to these energy collectors, we have the regular energy collectors, but there's also the antimatter. There, the antimatter relays. These are also EMCable as well. Um, they all do their own thing. So antimatter. They all kind of do their own little little thing. Um, if we take like an antimatter relay, we should be able to place this thing down. And you can see we should be able to store, I believe, a Kleinstar in here. Right? And say we put like an energy condenser. We could actually pull power from this. Um, like anything that's EMCable can be done. Let's take this out. Let's uh, pop. I think I can break that. Yeah, there we go. And then we take these. These actually generate EMC, as you can see. 
Um, and I think we can store, we can't store client stars, but this will allow us to charge the client stars. Yes. So this is actually taking the energy from here and storing it. So if I wanted to take, I don't know, make a giant battery of EMC, I can do that. And as long as these guys can see the sun, these guys are good, but they can actually see on top of one another. So it's another cool thing that they can do. But as you can see, this is going to be generating tons of EMC and storing it, and it's a giant EMC battery, you know? And these guys can all see the sun. You can see the sun showing here. And they're, yeah, that's a, another way of generating just large quantities of EMC. Um, and each one of these do that same function. So you can just make like a giant EMC battery. And EMC really isn't even that crazy, you know, at that point. It's kind of ridiculous. I don't know what the body stone does. I've not... There needs to be like a documentation, like in-game, for what all these uh, individual items do. Wait, is there a guidebook? Book of the Amethyst? It's a work in progress. I guess they are working on it. It's not been made yet. So that's a good thing. At least that book is uh, looks like it's being worked on. I don't I don't know what this does. I don't even know where it goes. Head slot. Hmm. Interesting. Anyways, we have all this done now. Thomcraft is something that I was thinking about working on in this pack. We are getting pretty close to the end of this pack as well. Like, we just finished um, Stone Block, and we need to find another pack to kind of move to, and this pack is definitely still going to be ongoing, because, I mean, we've gotten to this point. I would love to do, like, try out some Thomcraft stuff and mess around with that, definitely. Um, but in here, I don't know too much. Like, the new Thomcraft, I haven't really done too much of it. We'd have to build a whole new area for it, definitely. Blood magic I will not be doing, simply because uh, I does not like YouTube for some reason. And let's see, what other things have we not really touched on? We haven't gone all the way through Draconic, even though we have the access to that. Optium cores is definitely something that I want to strive for as well. I have done the Rainbow Stone. That is something that's really awesome. Going through IC2, yeah, no, like it's <laughs> not for me. I don't want to do that right now. Um, I have done it recently, but I don't want to do it right now. By the way, is the Draconic chest accessible now? Ooh, what are all these fancy drawers that are all broken up? Don't know. So all of our chests are here. I mean, I can pretty much complete a lot of these quests that are here. So I'll probably end up going through and doing a, most of these quests, just getting them completed. I'm um, just having the items in my hand because like everything here is EMCable and, you know, can be obtained. All the metals, things like that, leaving us with just a few tabs being Thaumcraft. And I really hope that this helps us go through it because I've not really touched on it too much. Hmm. We do have all the items to scan, <laughs> scan though. If we need to scan items, we definitely have that. Actually, addition is going to be another tab because everything here is just not, re you know, can't be uh, crafted through EMC. But most of the stuff can be. I also didn't know is, uh oh, yeah, all most of this, yeah, can be EMC as well. So, like, uh, I mean, besides treated wood and things like that. Power. What is this? A, a different power cell? That's interesting. Um, but yeah, th this has been a super fun pack. Like, I don't, I have, I have two, like, I can't really say too many negative things about it. And, uh, most of the things have been fixed. This was actually removed. I've not been using enzymes since I seen that update. Uh, the enzyme quest has been removed in the latest update. So no longer are enzymes a easy money grab. Um, this is still a great way to obtain money. Is that if I had it turned on, I have it turned off right now. But, I mean, you have to have money in order to, to do this. So, I mean, the other good option for early game money before you can get into Batania is doing Batania normally. 
and also making these. These are $10 a pop. They're pretty good, or $10 for every eight. $10 for 16. Wow. I can't believe we have a creeper issue. Yeah, are we even at, oh, we are at zero, zero, two percent. I've actually never seen this number change. I've never seen the number change. That is really cool because I hope to keep this running fully. I did have an issue. There is a big issue currently where this just stops connecting. Like, I don't, I don't understand why that does that. It's like every time the network changes, it just stops connecting here. I don't want that to happen because once that happens, it messes everything up. Or maybe it's on server restarts that that happens. So what I might actually do, let's just take some, uh, some hard earned cash here. And what we can do is just buy another creative energy source. <laughs> Why not have two? Um, Plus, we can add some more plugs on it. Like, there we go. Now that thing is perfectly set up. Drop a couple more plugs on the sides of this thing. Why not? I mean, we can have as much as we want, right? Huge and just huge amounts of power at this point. Why not go crazy? Uh, we could probably even do one right here. If I can break the snow. What do we got? Let's get another plug. Drop another source on the bottom. And then secretly in the back here, we'll add another plug. And then that one. Will also generate some more power for us and see it's not that bad and then it's still generating tons and tons of power for this which basically gives us infinite power how much are we at now 15 billion a tick 15 billion rf a tick Oof. that's that's i guarantee you that's the most power i have ever been able to generate in a single player let's play that is definitely the most power I have ever spent or e ever been able to create in a single player let's play. Definitely. That is awesome. <laughs> that is insane. Oh man, the uh the power that we have now. I know it's creative. We have creative power, but I've never actually been able to even touch the storage and have it go over the 0%. Like we're setting at 1 187 trillion RF and it just goes up like every couple seconds. That's insane. This is also insane. As you can see, this is generating tons and tons of EMC. Even when it's dark, it generates tons of EMC. And yeah, it's probably better than the roosts, to be honest. We can set up tons of those as well. Man, oh man, I just, I'm kind of cover, trying to come up with ideas. I, I want to get this done as well, the quantum quarry. So, I don't know why they want you to make the nature's compass beforehand. Um, but we do have tons and tons of ores and stuff that we've gathered from other means. But, let's see. Nature's compass. I don't know how well this would be used in a, like, single player. But a quantum quarry and a quantum actuator is definitely useful. Mainly for EMC generation, we could generate tons and tons of EMC with this. With the extra utilities quantum stuff. Um, so we need stone burnt, which we should have tons of. So the quantum quarry itself, mines blocks, this is the main thing. This is why you need it, oh man. The magical snow globe. So create a regular snow globe. It takes on and take on a world tour to specific biomes to activate it. So this may even for a server, this is a little bit out of reach. Um, traveling around a lot on a server just kind of just 
tanks for everybody else. And it's kind of not fun. By the way, I also wanted to mess with this. Um, this was put here a few episodes ago. Um, and gave us several different things, like Endermans in a Vial, which is really handy. Also, we have a little book to read. And I would love to read this. Um, definitely, all the Patreons and stuff have been really great. All the Patreons and Twitch subs. It has been really great through all these playthroughs. And I just want to kind of take a, a look at what everybody has done. So, hi, Chosen. This is just a gift from me to you for getting to 50,000 subs. And so I didn't really know if any of these items are useful to you, but I hope they are. And so I hope you have a good day. From Nick Goes Gaming. P.S. Book may trigger OCD. But yes, as you can see, man, I have some really awesome supporters. And plus, this is all made of octuple compressed. And here are tons of other EMCable items. Look at all the red matter. Like, awesome stuff. Like, just people just giving just stuff away. I love it. Um, but yeah, that was definitely a thing. And I wanted to check out the base. Um, I would love to do a base tour. There is several bases that I would love to take a look at. Um, this is this guy's base. So uh, Nick does Nick goes gaming. And uh, he was actually kind of trying to recreate my base, which is kind of hilarious. But let's take a look. Um, if I don't crash, maybe. Should be. It should be good. Well, I, I was going to show off the base. <laughs> but unfortunately, their base, since they did try to replicate mine, I'm sure ended up with this exact same issue I had with the Batania um, Elven Gateway. Is It has an internal storage. So when this storage gets has too many items in it, it will crash you. Um, yeah, which is bad. <laughs> so um, that's the exact problem and the reason I crashed. So uh, unfortunately, I won't be visiting that many bases on here. But uh, like I said, we're going to work on something next episode. We need to figure out something that we're going to be uh, going after. And Thomcraft is one of those things that we could potentially do. The quantum quarry thing, that's probably going to be no reason to do that. We already have this quarry, which is generating tons and tons of materials, raw materials for us, which would need to be processed. So to in order to process these, I, I don't really see a need. Uh, it would just cause more issues, more, more lag. I've been trying to keep this base as minimalistic as possible, and it's worked out so far. Um, we really do have this thing pretty, pretty, pretty minimalistic. Minimalistic, if I can pronounce things correctly. Um, but yeah, this series is getting pretty, pretty close to an end. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode. And it was a little bit shorter than normal. But uh, if you guys did, go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up, guys. I hope you guys are looking forward to all the new content that we're going to be coming out with very soon. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh,